just a quick note, I played Paddle two, three times and actually yeah. it was fun. Anyway, stay tuned because in this video I'm going to share my major reasons why I didn't make the switch from tennis to Paddle. But first, let me ask you, what is your main reason for considering a switch to Paddle? Is it the love for the game? Is it the potential earnings as a coach? Or perhaps the status that comes with attending Paddle classes? Or maybe it's the shame of social events and the dynamics of the new Paddle clubs. In my case, as a tennis coach, despite Paddle's growth in Portugal and the potential benefits of making the switch, I've decided to stick with tennis. Sure, I might not be a Paddle player, but I know I can play great tennis, so dedicating a few hours to Paddle could potentially elevate my game to a decent level, maybe even enough to teach and earn more as a Paddle coach. But would that be worth it? Do those opportunities align with my values and with what I want in life? Would earning an extra 10 or 20 euros per hour make a significant difference if it's just for a bit of extra cash? I mean, money is always welcome, but as we all know, without proper money management, the more we earn, the more we spend. Our standards rise and, in the end, everything stays the same except for one thing. I wouldn't enjoy my days as much as I do on tennis court. So, let's go! My first reason is that I can teach something I'm not great at. Of course, I can get good and better with every practice, no doubts about it. But let's do our math here. With more than 43,000 hours on court, teaching and playing, and all the confidence I have, from now on, every single time I step onto the tennis court, I gain even more experience, even more practice, and day after day, my knowledge also increases a little, either in my communication, my skills, the understanding of my students, the strategies to keep my athletes motivated all the time, the experience by already knowing how to anticipate my players' mistake, and providing value, motivating them to keep trying, because I know it's normal to miss those kind of balls in the beginning, and through the mistakes, they can and they will get better. To get the same feeling with Paddle, the same experience, the same level and the same knowledge, I would need to dedicate more than 10,000 hours, at least to start getting a little of the same. But if I just put 10,000 hours more into tennis, how much better would I be? Before we go to the second point, let me just tell you that after these three reasons, I'm going to share a few notes that are helping me to achieve more in tennis and life, to enjoy my time more and to pursue my goals. So now my second reason is that no matter how much more I earn, if I don't enjoy what I do, I'm not willing to sacrifice my happiness at this stage of my life. Remember, we just live once and once I said, uh, I said no, I think it was Gary V that said this quote that was like, more important than how much you earn is how you earn it. And that's a perfect quote and I truly rely on that. So if you have a passion for battle, just go for it. If not, and in my case, me speaking, of course, I stay in tennis because tennis is the only sport that gives me all the joy. And of course, how many times I already said, oh, I'm so tired of this, or I don't want to see my, my racket anymore, or I don't want to play anymore. Uh, a lot of times, but first I need to understand why I said that. After many years in tennis, now I understand that the main reason was the, sorry the expression, but I have to say the stupid amount of hours we have to work to get paid so little once at we start. Sure, owners of academies need to make money and that's the reason they never get better players. Because if I am tired, I'm not happy, I can't teach the same every hour. Well, <laughs> actually I can, I do always my best, or at least I try, or at least until today, I, I try, all I have I give and that's me, but I can assure you that throughout my experience most people don't. In my opinion we can teach 4 great tennis lessons a day, max max 5, which I'm avoiding as much as I can. More than that for me is work and not enjoyable at all. And now, living in Lithuania, finally I'm doing that. My goal is not to make more money, is to help more people play better and at the same time to keep myself happy and excited to go to the court every single hour. So once we know our reasons why things are not working or why I am tired, we need to find a way to make positive changes. And believe me, if you are good at what you do, either being in tennis or paddle or any other thing in life, the money you will make and the possibilities to make it increase a lot more. Plus, the opportunities of doing more with the knowledge you have are huge. You can help people doing the same as you, you can write a book, you can start a YouTube channel, you can do a lot of different things because once you get good at your thing and once you really are at the top and receiving according to your true value, only then you can start diversifying and even investing in complementary areas to diversify your income and start to get even more money, more leverage. So remember, get good, get great by focusing on one thing at a time, tennis, paddle or any other thing in life, and once you reach a high level, start diversifying to enjoy your time the way you want. Wow. <laughs> 
just a quick reminder, if you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And by the way, recently I'm having more views, but not so much interaction, so I would love to have your feedback about my videos. Please let me know in the comments what's your name, where are you from and from 0 to 100, how much value are you getting from these and other videos I posted. Back to our topic, my third reason why I didn't quit tennis and before we go to my next notes to help you achieve success is that I don't want to invest more time in something that is not going to make me any closer to accomplish my goal. My goal, and not just a goal is actually what is going to happen, is to have enough money, in this case to become a millionaire and to start competing again full time. I will practice the time I want, the tournaments I want, where I want and I'm fighting every single day for things I still believe I can do for my career as a player. And that's one of the reasons why I started this journey here on YouTube. I want to help you to play better, I want to help you to play smart, help coaches to know which steps to take as they start their journey and essentially I want to show you how your dreams can become true if you fight for them. Everything starts with a simple thought that then we write down on paper but after that by praying things never happen so once we know what we want it's time to fight for it and wake up every day with that in mind. I do have my vision board I did at the beginning of this year and I do like to look at it often. Believe me it's half the way there and here you can find all you need for your tennis journey through my experience and at the same time I'll show you my path to come back to competition in a few years and still do something interesting or at least enjoy my life traveling and playing myself which I love. I love competition and combining that with traveling and exploring the cities around is what I'm really looking forward to. So by that, playing paddle, unless it's just for fun or with some friends or girlfriend, is not on my list. I would rather to take time to read a little bit, watch an interesting podcast or even write. Ok, so I just told you my top 3 reasons why I didn't quit tennis for paddle and now I want to share with you a few notes that are helping me to achieve more in tennis and life, to enjoy my time more and to pursue my goals. The first thing is, in order to achieve whatever you want, you must say no to a lot of things. More important than doing what you have to do to achieve your goals is what you must not do in order to achieve them faster. With this I mean, imagine you want to succeed on YouTube. In order to achieve success, you have to post consistently and focus on daily actions like scripting, filming, editing, but also important is to reduce the time you spend on other platforms, especially the time you are just consuming content that is not going to help you to go any further. The second thing is you need to be strong enough to keep fighting even when anyone believes you can achieve what you want. You need to be prepared to lose some friends, listen to some feedbacks like I told you this is not gonna work and keep fighting in those difficult times. Only after overcoming many difficult times you will see the success and if you don't give up at the first time they show up and when you listen to others saying that you can't do it, only then you will accomplish your goals. Persistency, consistency and learning are keys to success and by learning I mean when you face the same situations in tennis, battle or life but with a different behavior, a better approach. Success is for those who believe first and are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve what they already know they will achieve. The third thing is to become a better version of yourself, to invest in you, invest in your business and always try to learn more and know more about you and what you love to do. Always prioritize learning, but remember that the best way to learn is by doing. By doing you become, and by becoming and doing you can then have. As, as I have heard many many times from Bible studies, be, do, have. Now, if you are enjoying this video, I would suggest you this one right here, when I share my 7 lessons I've learned from tennis after all my years of experience, or this one right here, where I share my 5 typical tips for aspiring tennis coaches, the video I wish I had when I started my journey. By the way, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more content like this, for tennis content, for self growth and life lessons. My name is Philippe and welcome to my channel, see you in a bit, bye bye.